Hello and welcome to Adam and Craig Do Stuff, where today we are doing Yorkshire Wildlife Park. So it feels like such a long time since we have been out and filmed um, and that's because the weather hasn't treated us very well this winter. Treated. Treated us very well this winter. So things that we have had planned or booked, we've had to move or had cancelled or in some cases we've turned up and the weather's just not been good enough to film because it's been throwing it down. Um, but we're here, we're at Yorkshire Wildlife Park, we love it here and we're here for two vlogs, so we're doing it by day um, and then they've got their lantern festival tonight so there's going to be a second vlog for that. Um, <clears throat> really excited for that. Yeah. Really excited. We can obviously the lanterns are already out, so, so we're um, trying not to look at them too much. Um, but we've to... seen them, and already they look they absolutely do look phenomenal. Really good. They yeah. look really, really yeah, good. Really good. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to, to see them lit up. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's only um, I think it's twenty pound for the lanterns, and then you only have to pay ten pound if you want to come during the day. Yeah. Which... So if you're getting as a combo ticket, it's only an extra tenner, which is really good value. Which is about half price. Yeah. Because I think it's really good value. Twenty quid isn't it mm -hmm. for a yeah. ticket. Um, so that's really good value. Really good value. Yeah. Um, but also, um, since we last filmed here, they've opened up po uh, Point Lobus, um, which is the sea lion enclosure. They literally opened it a few days after we last days. filmed here, days yeah. literally. So that was a bit uh, gutting for us, but we're here. Uh, so we're gonna see that too. So we're really excited for that. Um, we've had a quick walk through it, but it was very busy. So we're gonna come back to that later. Um, but yeah, excited to see the yeah. sea lions. Yeah. And yeah, definitely um, a top tip that when you first come in, like, I mean, we didn't come for opening. We've come sort of a little bit later. And yeah, still, just over an hour later. The first couple of sections you come to, like that whole Atlantic forest and Himalaya Pass was rammed, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we've sort of worked our way to the back. And it used gonna, to be the front. Yeah. Still confuses me. Um, <laughs> and it's much it's quieter, quieter down here it's this a lot morning. Quieter. Yeah. Uh, and we've already booked tickets to come back next year because yes, they have announced yes, steps, steps. The safari night. And that would be a sure. tragedy to miss. Oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't think we've ever booked anything fast. As soon as they announced steps, we were like, oh, mm. fuck it, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was only and that's in August. 35 quid for the silver package, which yeah. is, and that includes daytime entry, which is amazing. Mm.
just blowing me snotty <laughs> nose. Hang on. This is the bit we're most excited for. This is um, the newest part of the park, Port Lobus, which houses six um, California sea lions. And it is um, the UK's largest outdoor filtered sea lion pool. Oh, just saw one of them jump in there. Yeah. I've been waiting for this since, what, April? I mean, that's yeah, crazy. yeah. Um, and uh, most we managed to get was to sort of peek through the, the construction fence and we yeah. saw them. Because uh, last time we came, it was all built and they were here. Um, it was getting ready to open, weren't It they? wasn't open to the public, yeah, no. so it was all, all fenced off. Because one um, thing about this place, they don't announce the opening, do they, until well, like a day or two before? No, up until now, we've never really known. Because like Himalaya Pass, we turned up um, and it had only just been announced, yeah, wasn't it, when we yeah. when we came. Um, we didn't know anything about it before. No. Um, and the... Um, what came before this one? The... Um, the Bush dogs and that was that bit called kind of bit Atlantic Forest. Atlantic that Forest, bit. yeah. That yeah. didn't seem to be announced very ha uh, far in advance, did no, it either? No. Um, however, having said that, we do know there are plans to build something new behind the sea lions, sort of over in this space mm. over here. Um, and the internet rumours are saying that well, it's... on the plans, we know they're getting bongos. Uh, we know there's going to be a Havana uh, exhibit. What that's going to be in there, we don't know. Uh, and we're pretty sure that at the back there are going to be two new gorilla enclosures mm -hmm. which will be really excellent. Oh, a lot, oh. Of, um, a lot of activity going on behind yeah. us. Um, and I think, uh, considering the way the enclosures look here, gorillas will look amazing mm. here. The gorilla enclosure is going to be absolutely fantastic. Bongos as well will look great. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see what they're going to do with the uh, Havana Reserve. Mm. Oh. Because these guys, uh, they came from Whipsnade Zoo, um, mm. and we actually saw their old enclosure in July, didn't we? And it wasn't. Most of Whipsnade was quite nice, yeah, wasn't it? But yeah. the sea lion enclosure was grim, to be quite honest, mm. was it? So this is so much better. Much better yeah. This is so much better than it was um, at Whipsnade. So it's nice that they're in here rather than being there. Uh, and this is what the largest filtered sea lion pool in in the UK. In the UK, maybe, in, maybe Europe. Maybe I think the it's, world. I think Europe. I think it may be Europe. Um, it's, it's the largest somewhere, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's the largest in some region. Definitely we'll in the read, UK. We'll have to read the board again. Cause yeah. It does say on the boards. Yeah. Around, Definitely around within the UK. Closing. Possibly in Europe. We're not mm. quite sure. Um, but it's um, it's an amazing pool. It's amazing, mm. it's huge, and they've got another little, a smaller pool over there as well. Yeah. I say smaller; it's probably the size that you normally see a sea lion pool. Yeah. To be quite yeah. honest, but it's lovely. It's a lovely enclosure. Mm. This really is. So up on the platform for at Point Lobus, you can now see this land here. Um, <laughs> behind my big blurry finger, even better now. Um, it's a massive, massive expanse of land. Um, that they can build on. It goes all the way across here um, and that is where they currently have plans submitted to build some more enclosures so it's a huge huge area um, and it will be great because then we'll, obviously we've got this body of water in the middle um, with Himalaya Pass over there and then Point Lobus here and then to have another enclosure on the other side of the water will just really really bring this area alive. Mm. It's going to be really exciting that yeah. i can't wait to see how that looks and and the view as well from this point when that opens is going to be brilliant i think <laughs>
That must be the um, most active we've ever seen lions here, isn't it, I guess? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. We've never seen them that active. And perhaps maybe the best view we've had of them, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Because, because I think because their like, enclosure is so big and very hilly, often like you just see them lying down, maybe mm. see the back end of them. Um, but yeah, that was and really quite good. Quite fancy in comparison yeah. to a lot of the um, enclosures, uh, here. enclosures here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was great. I mean, we stood for what felt like an hour trying to get a picture of it yawning, mm. uh, a video sorry, of it yawning that yeah. we managed to get. Um, and we got them roaring at each other we as did, well. We did, yeah, because we've great. got three different enclosures here for the lions. So two of them was yaw uh, roaring at each other from over the mm. um, river thing that they've got. Um, they're all rescued ones here. I think they're rescued from somewhere like Russia or Romania. One of the R's, I'm sure. I didn't know that. Didn't yeah, know that the sign around the other end says it. I mm. think, yeah, I think there were 10 when they first rescued them. I'm not sure if they've still got 10. But I'm sure it was something like 10. So they've got like 10, 10 lions? I think so. Oh, wow. So. Well, there's um, definitely, we've seen six today, mm, haven't we? Yeah. Um, I didn't know. Oh, I know where you mean. Yeah, they've got a board, yeah, haven't they, they have. with all of the... the other side of the enclosure where it's just the females. It tells you, like, their names and yeah, their personalities yeah. and that kind of thing. Mm. Um, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I yeah. forgot about that. Um, but, yeah, that was uh, that was the best, best mm. view we've ever got on Yeah, I really amazing. enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. Uh, in fact, they're still out. They're still out, mm. as you can probably see by the amount of... I don't know if you can see the amount of people that are around there. On the bridge. Um, but, yeah, everybody's around by the lions. Uh, quite quite busy today isn't it for yeah for winter yeah, we didn't, yeah we've never been here in winter before we've always been in summer which is maybe why the um lions are so active today because in the summer when it's hot they're just wanting to like lay down and mm. but yeah it, it's um the lanterns look amazing they've got a christmas market on by the um the entrance by the entrance yeah um I and the hive has had oh, even yeah, more that's work had done to it yeah. like and the uh, the hex is going up as well the hotel um it's just it's growing massively over there the hive is is already growing again um and they're putting more shops in they've moved some of the shops already that were there um it's just growing at a massive rate isn't it mm. absolutely massive rate and it's really putting itself on the map as one of the best yeah. animal attractions in the country which it is which it yeah. deserves because yeah, it's, it's fantastic the best. they're doing so so well um can't can't wait can't wait to see what else they bring or where else they expand into? They're going to run out, run out of room soon, mm. aren't they?
just did a Project Polar One, um, which is where they've got the first um, lot of polar bears, the, the first biggest pet polar bear reserve. And I think that's the first time we've seen the polar bears interact with each other like that, like play fighting and that before. I don't think mm, we've ever seen do that before. Never to that degree, never to that degree, um, no. No, which was really cool to see, actually. Mm. I think it's because one of the four there is a, a new male um, that's came from the Highland Zoo up in uh, Scotland. Um, and now we're at Project Polar 2, um, where they've got four new polar bears, um, which have come from France. There's a mother um, with her three triplets, two males and one female. Um, and they are, one of, well, one of the cubs is, is particularly active, he's in the yeah. water at the moment. About, so I don't know if you water. can see, mm, no. it's around here somewhere, mm. uh, rippling away in the water, obviously without a focus, but yeah. um, playing with the Christmas tree in the water. Um, and then the others, one sort of behind a log over here, it's moving a little bit. Um, the others are sort of just beached on the floor, yeah. <laughs> just um, uh, chilling when, out. When we say cubs, they're not like babies, like tiny baby polar bears, so they're probably, I'd say, a bit older. Know, did you say how old they were? It, I'm not sure how old they are, no, they are. no. I mean, you can tell they're smaller than oh, the yeah, bigger they're, ones they're in Project Polar One. a lot polar smaller one. than the ones um, on the other side. But they're not like tiny, tiny baby, are they? It looks smaller than the mum as well, which she's laid down, yeah. so it's harder to tell. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see the mum somewhere. All of them can get in. There. Not sure how well you can see them back there. Some but, sort of yeah. white, uh, probably a white patch. Is that? I think that. Uh, is yeah, that her I there? Think that's her. I think that's her there. Um, obviously, in real life, you can see it a lot better. But mm. there you go. Um, so yeah, it's um, amazing to see them getting more polar bears in. Because mm. um, this is, I think this is when they built Project Polar One. Is when they really started to get noticed, wasn't it? Yeah. That was a big, big, big step thing. for them. It's the like, first zoo in England with polar bear, mm. um, currently anyway. And a huge, huge enclosure for it. They've got three, three really big patches of, um, what, space, haven't they? In Project Polar in, One, in yeah. Project Polar yeah. One, yeah. Um, don't know what they'll do with these. I don't know whether they're staying here or whether they'll eventually move over. Because we keep saying, don't they, there's like an empty patch of land yeah, next, next to, to Project Polar. Polar one. Yeah. And it would be nice if that got turned into mm. a, a fourth enclosure that they can move, put these, so that they're all, obviously not in the same enclosure, but so that they're all together would be really, really nice. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's great just to see more polar bears. Well, there's one moving here now. That looks like a slightly bigger cub to the others. Oh, yeah. It's a very, very grey. It's been rolling around in the dirt, hasn't it? So we are now out in the hive. As you can see, it's starting to get dark. Um, the lights are coming on. Um, as we said, we are back for the lanterns in a couple of hours' time. So there'll be a video on the channel. I'm not sure which is going to go up first, but um, keep a lookout for that. Uh, we have also got some other Yorkshire Wildlife Park videos on the channel as well. Mm -hmm. Including the Evolution Restaurant run, which we did in yeah. May. Yeah, that was uh, really cool. Afternoon tea. Uh, we oh, covered yes, the we Atlantic well. oh, Forest that when that opened. Mm. Um, and the Himalayan Pass as well when that opened. Uh, we're just out at the back of the hive now. So you can see there's a couple couple of shops around here that have just been built. They're literally brand new. Um, and then behind us, oh, I've just seen actually on this window, yeah. it says uh, Wilds Cafe Bistro. Right. Mm. Um, do any of the others? That's Hex. Hex, which is going to be the hotel. So that's a hotel behind us that you can see. Um, um, and there's another couple of units being yeah, built. Being built there. Um, and some sort of um, feature in the middle here. Yeah, I think it's going to be a water feature because yeah. a, a member of staff did speak to us earlier. Um, and it and looks like they're digging down yeah. to, to make a pool out of it. Yeah. Um, so Hex, we believe, is opening next year. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. If, then... if we can afford to, um, we may come here. So hopefully we can do a video of that. Mm. Um, but obviously it depends how much the rooms are. Yeah. Um, attraction accommodation can be pretty pricey. Um, but we, they are opening it in stages. So it may be a little bit cheaper when it first opens. We don't know. Um, but it'll be really interesting if you get... Um, a room on the other side. I believe you'll be able to see over to the Port Lobus and the Atlantic Forest yeah. because um, that's literally just on the other side it of it. Is, yeah. Um, so hopefully you can see that if you get a room on that side. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens. But um, the, I mean, the park's already absolutely amazing, and the new developments are really, really exciting. The future looks absolutely fantastic mm. for them, doesn't it? It really yeah. does. Yeah. Really so. cool. 
Can't wait. That's it from Yorkshire Wildlife Park today. As we said, we've got plenty of other Yorkshire Wildlife Park content on the channel, as well as zoo content, theme park content, and other attraction content. So subscribe to us if that's the kind of thing you're into and you like our style. Uh, like this video if you've enjoyed it, drop us a comment, and we shall see you next time we do stuff. That would be a tragedy to miss. Oh, Adam. <laughs>